spending time at the beach, like you can see it's all around me. You know, you take your shoes off, you're like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, to get to your spot. So how is it that the sand can be so hot, but the water is so cool? Well, in today's Science with Steph, I explain the contrast between land and sea. <laughs> Have you ever wondered why the sand practically burns your feet at the beach, yet the water is so refreshing? We're going to inflate your knowledge with just eight items. How does this mimic reality? It takes a lot more energy to break the hydrogen bonds that hold together water molecules. Because of that, water can take on a lot more heat before the temperature will rise dramatically, therefore keeping the balloon intact and the oceans from increasing in temperature rapidly. Also, the moving water mixes up the heat from the sun and diffuses it through a bigger volume, while the land remains stagnant. The sun's rays are also able to puncture deep into the water so the bulk of the heat isn't just sitting on the top layer like it does on land. That's Science with Steph. 